and we are here to serve Lord, you. We come to your throne to bow down. Your grace and mercy Hi there! Welcome to this special edition of The Word with Sue. As you can see, we're sitting by the fireside today as we give God thanks one more time for his wonderful blessings. And you know, we're honoring our wonderful sister, Cherie Williams, and all that she did in her life here. And welcome Heather Otis and her three children as they share their story of Thanksgiving. Come on and join us as we chat by the fireside, giving God thanks. Then we would not be here. God is such a good God. Yes, yes. Once again, we are so privileged to give God thanks here at the well with the word with Sue. Yes. You know, we're here, we're thinking about God's mercies, His grace that is extended to all of us. Yes. And we realize that if it was not for the mercies of God, we would be consumed. Yes, the Bible says that. Yeah, we would be destroyed. We would uh -huh. be utterly destroyed. Uh -huh. Because we know we have a devourer uh -huh. the, in the Enemy. devil who is seeking seeking out whom he may devour. Yes. And so we're so delighted to come before you this morning, uh -huh. this afternoon, this evening, wherever you are, whatever time zone you're in. Yes. <laughs> we're so delighted to come to you with this special edition today. Because you're going to see firsthand how God his mercies and his grace keeps us in yes. this day even in this very age that we're yes. living in his mercy and yes. his grace is sufficient for you yes how he can take a, a horrible situation mm. and turn it around for so good. that we can be testimony mm. we can have a testimony of his goodness, yes, his grace. Yes. And we're so excited to introduce you to Heather Otis mm -hmm. and her family today. Yes. Who's going to share her awesome testimony with us. Mm -hmm. Oh, you are in for a treat. <laughs> You're in for a treat yeah. this morning. And this I'm time. sure there are many of you out there that have that may be similar to Heather's mm -hmm. or you, you, your own story it is unique yes. and it is powerful because the, the Word of God says we overcome by the blood of the Lamb and the word the of word our testimony. testimony so your testimony is is just uh, giving somebody an example of the God you serve exactly mm -hmm. and um, you're also going to recognize the power of prayer yes when you pray when we gather together and we pray and we, mm -hmm. we we're touching and agreeing yeah. Yeah. In the name of Jesus, miracles God, miracles, yeah. miracles, miracles mm -hmm. will happen. Yes, and you may not, a miracle is not what seeing angels come from the sky. Right. Mm -hmm. It is something that you are unable to do and it's only a God situation. Only God can take care of it. Exactly. And that's what we would consider a miracle. It has to be God's supernatural power that come to, to, to your natural realm and take care of it, a situation that you have no... Exactly. You can't do, take care of yourself. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Exactly. We can't stress enough the importance of prayer. Yeah. Because it's through our prayers that we're going to see the hand of God. Exactly. We're living in an evil day. Evil if day. you watch the news any at all, any at all yeah. you realize how grave and dangerous this world, yeah. the situation in this world has become very critical. Mm -hmm. And so as believers, we have to be praying. We have, we to, have be. to be on our knees and we can't just say it anymore, mm -hmm. but we have to live like today is the end. Yeah. We see it, the signs are all around mm -hmm. us. Mm -hmm. And you know, so we're, we're, we're so happy. Yeah. that we can share this word with you today recognizing who we are who we are in christ and that he is a mir miracle, is working, a miracle god. working god and my sister sheree our sister who passed on before us she sang this song your grace and mercy that was one of her favorite songs to sing yes and um she sang this song a couple years ago uh -huh. that is still ministering to us today uh -huh. and we're going to play a clip of that for you uh -huh. Yeah. yeah, I mean, it's a beautiful song. <laughs> it's gonna stir you up. I don't know about you, but this is true for me. Justice! Justice demanded! Demanded! Yeah! I was 
awesome? Awesome. Well, she belted out that song. Yes. Her gift came from God. And when God gives you a gift, it is mm -hmm. because of his favor upon you. Exactly. I just wanted to read the scripture from... It just came to me when you were talking yeah. earlier about the things that are happening in the world. Yeah. And um, it's from 2 Timothy 1. And we always read verse 7 about, For God hath not given us a spirit yeah, of faith. Fear, but I want to read the verse before that, leading up to verse 7. And it says, Wherefore, I put thee in remembrance that thou stir up the gift of God, which is in thee by the putting on of my hands. Yes. You didn't say the putting on of a man's hand. Hmm. It's the putting ha on of his God's of God's hand. hands. Exactly. For God had not given us the spirit of yeah. fear, but of power and of love and of, and of a sound mind. So he said first, remember to stir up the gift of God. Remember yes. what God has given you. What is that thing he's giving you by his favor? Oh my God. He, he has given you something that's very valuable. It could be your story mm. that could mm -hmm. change the life mm. of someone else. And it is by that, he said, when you know what you have, when you call to remembrance in your mind what God has given you, then you will remember that he has not given you the spirit of fear. fear. On, of power but he's given you the spirit of power Our and love, love and, and a sound, sound mind, mind to Amen. carry out all that he's given you to do so you know even the things that are happening as you, you mentioned yeah. things in this world will cause us to fear it, yeah. it causes us to to wonder oh my god am i next am i mm -hmm. about to go into the ground you yeah. know and but we cannot live in fear that's can't. what the enemy wants mm -hmm. he wants us to live in fear yeah. but we know the god we serve yeah so let us stand on the word of god recognizing that we have power we have power, we have power. We have love. there is miraculous power in the blood of jesus hallelujah oh. Oh Hallelujah. And in just a moment, you're going to get to hear this powerful testimony of a child called Justice. I think her name is just phenomenal. Yeah. Because Amazing. it's so fitting, the, the yeah. story you're about to hear. And her sisters are here with as well mm -hmm. with their mom, Heather Otis. Mm -hmm. And we're so happy that they're, they're about awesome. to join us in this segment today. Yeah. You're, up, you're in for a treat, guys. Mm -hmm. So stay tuned for this story. Yes. Awesome. Hello, everyone. My name is Heather Otis, and I just want to start off by saying that, you know, God has blessed me so much. I'm just highly favored, me and my family both. Um, these are my girls. This is my 12-year-old Jaira, 11-year-old Nisa, and this is my 1-year-old, soon to be 15 months old, on Sunday, Justice. And I can go on for days just what, you know, God has done in my life. But um, in particular, I just want to go over just, you know, the power of prayer. And, um, you know, when I was pregnant with her, it was uh, definitely an unexpected pregnancy. It's a 10-year gap. But um, when I was six weeks pregnant, um, I almost lost her. And um, that was devastating. But it's just amazing how you could just call out to God and He just gives you the sense of peace. And if it's His will for, you know, the, the pregnancy to continue, then then it, it will continue and I remember um, going to the emergency room and I was praying I was by myself I dropped the girls off at school and um, my husband's in the military so I was alone I went to the, um, the hospital and I remember the um, they, the ultrasound technician she can't she couldn't give me any information but I remember with their ultrasounds what the heartbeat looked like and I had prayed. I was like, Lord, just please cover this baby. Um, you know, just make sure everything's okay with it, that this is just maybe a false alarm that so many women go through. And as she's doing the ultrasound, I saw that little heartbeat. And um, it was just, she couldn't tell me, she couldn't confirm, but I said, that's a heartbeat. I know that she's still, you know, she, her heart is still beating. And again, I was only six months uh, or six weeks pregnant. And then, um, you know, everything, I had morning sickness like so many women do. Um, but then whenever I was five months pregnant, um, I, they suggested that I take the genetic test, which I did take with her. And, um, and it came back positive for Down syndrome. I got the call, and, and of course, I usually don't tell you over the phone, but unfortunately, I was on the way to Tennessee to see my family for, um, um, actually, to, to let them know that I was pregnant. I hadn't told anybody because of the, I guess, honestly, it was the fear of um, something happening, and then, you know, me having to tell them, you know, that, you know, because I was a high-risk pregnancy. So I had found out the day before that she was a little girl, and um, I 
and saw the ultrasound and everything looks so good and she just looks so healthy. Yeah. And then I got the call from the doctor and yeah. that doctor in particular asked me um, what I thought about aborting her. That was just the hardest time to me, I mean, for someone to suggest that. Because no matter, if, even if, you know, if it was in fact that she was, you know, a Down Syndrome baby, I was, my intentions were the... I was going to have a Down Syndrome baby. I was going to take care of this, this, this blessing. And I, and I, you know, if God found it fit for me to have a special needs child, then that was what it was going to be. But that was, it was just so offensive that it's just... You can honestly tell by the conversation when people have the, the, you know, the relationship with Christ and they just simply don't know who He is and what His, you know, the power behind a prayer. And I got one of my prayer warrior friends on the phone and I, you know, I was just, I was so upset. Because we all want our babies to be, you know, healthy and and everything be perfectly fine. I've had two healthy babies, um, but, you know, I got her on the phone and she, and she, she just basically... Her words were so comforting. She said, "You know, I, I think that I think that God has found it fit. If if it is the case that, that she is Down syndrome, uh, for you to be her mom." And um, and we prayed, and it was just and it's just the. I mean, I just remember praying in the sense of peace that came over me. And I, I going over the video of her of um, the ultrasound and. And researching the soft signs of, um, of Down syndrome and she had none of the soft signs and I thought to myself well maybe you know there, there, there might not be any soft signs there may not be there may not be any soft signs that she's Down syndrome but you know we prayed and um, then they took another test and she was not she had she had no she was perfectly fine but then it was like one thing after the other during the pregnancy that could have shook me but it was just amazing to me how, I mean, every single time I went to the specialist, because I had to see a specialist because my blood platelets were low, and I had to see a specialist for so many things with her, I never, I never lost faith that she was going to be completely fine. And um, I remember when the doctor suggested uh, the abortion, she was like, she called it a medical abortion. And she was like, what do you think about that? And I said, no, I, I, I don't even know why you would suggest that, because in August I'm going to have a healthy baby one way or the other. You know, I mean, if she is Down syndrome, then that, you know, that's going to be what it is. But, um, but I just remember the, how, how she sounded on the other end, because I, I guess my rebuttal to her was, you know, I believe that she's going to be fine. Maybe a lot of people don't believe that. But, um, you know, they have that, that fear inside of them. But I just remember... I, it, it's something that I, I don't, I'll be a hundred and I'll just remember that feeling. Just the prayer, the immediate, just the sense of peace. And just the power of prayer. If people just understood, no matter what you're going through, I mean, you just call out and your prayers are indefinitely answered. It may not be answered right away because I didn't get that answer right away. I didn't get that confirmation that she was going to be fine. But I had the faith that she was going to be absolutely fine. And on August the 22nd of last year, I had a perfectly healthy baby. She was just 7 pounds, 10 ounces, and she was just the, I mean, I just, you love your baby when they're inside of you, but you know, when they come out and you see that it's just, I can't even describe it. I looked at her and I just thought to myself, the devil was a lie. Because there was nothing wrong with her. I had no complications. My blood plates were extremely low. I didn't believe me more, any more than a, you know, another pregnant woman would. And it's just, it, I just was never shook. But I know the reason why I wasn't shook. I was not shook because of the relationship that I have with Christ. And the, just the utter faith that I had. That everything was going to be completely fine. And, and she is. She's healthy and she's, I mean, it's just, um, I couldn't be more thankful and grateful to, you know, God for everything that he's done for us. And this little bundle of joy. <laughs> <laughs> she keeps me on my toes. But, uh, but no, it's just the, I mean, everyone, and, you know, just a few years ago, I can say I didn't even have that, I didn't have that relationship with Christ say, five years ago that I, that I would go through things and, you know, and just, I wish that I knew that I could just call out to God and just, you know, get those prayers, those, just speak to Him. Now He's my best friend, you know. I mean, there's not a day that I, I mean, I, I constantly am thanking Him, thanking Him and just thanking Him all, all day long. Um, and, you know, I'm actually going through, you know, some spiritual things right now. And 
I still have the faith that, you know, I'm going to get through it. Like, there's nothing that's in my mind that I know there's nothing that can come in between me and God's relationship. There's nothing. Nothing. I'm just so thankful for her and my other two that are just so healthy. I mean, God has completely blessed us. I mean, we're just so blessed. I could have thought, you know, all the negative and, and had all that in my mind, but it turned out so differently than the doctors had, they had anticipated. They simply don't know who he is. Awesome. So no matter how young you are, mm -hmm. um, from the beginning of your time on earth, you begin to develop your story. Exactly. Your story is significant. Yeah. You have a significant story mm -hmm. to tell. Mm -hmm. the, you know, we're about to, we're, we're getting into that season where we're going to start celebrating the birth of Jesus Christ. Yeah. And one of the things we're going to look at is how significant how significant we are in the yeah. kingdom our, our birth, birth is significant yes. from the, the day you were born and before mm -hmm. you were even formed in your mother's womb yeah. like the scripture said mm -hmm. God he knew you yeah. right so there's a plan for your life there's a purpose there's a purpose for justice yes. being born yes. and can you imagine the doctors um, advising or giving advice for mm -hmm. her abortion mm -hmm. oh my goodness my imagine if you had been aborted my god imagine Jesus being aborted oh, if she didn't goodness. understand the purpose for this child being mm -hmm. her womb uh huh Mm -hmm. It would have been, or we would have been, we wouldn't have salvation. Exactly. As we know it, salvation is fr a gift it's from free. God. It's free. And that, yeah. as we're going back to the song that Sherry said, mm -hmm. justice demanded that, that we should we have should died. Die. But grace and, and mercy came said, along. Yes. Yes. And and mm -hmm. we, we, we deserved death. We did. But when Jesus Christ came, he took our place. Yes. And he took He took on our sins mm -hmm. so that he could take our place and die the death mm -hmm. that we should have died. Wow. Because the wages of sin is death. Yes. But Jesus gave himself to us. He was that gift of eternal life. Mm. And so if you have not received Jesus as your Savior, mm. then you do not have eternal right, life. Right, exactly. It's through him that we have mm. eternal, eternal life. Eternal life. So we should always remember what he did, his sacrifice for us. Mm -hmm. he, he gave us grace and mercy. It is the blood of Jesus that has cleansed us from all sin. Exactly. His love. His love. His for love. us is why we're we're here today and i love um to go back to love because mm -hmm. that's what casts out all fear, fear mm -hmm. right mm -hmm. and again we have the power of christ love we're not just we're not talking about erotic love no. or you know Passion i mean love. there's no other love but agape yeah yes, love of yes. The, everything is born out of that yes. everything good everything pure exactly born out of the love of god and that's the love god wants us to have in our everyday life yes. that's the love he wants us to have in our marriage marriages mm -hmm. that's the love we should have for our husband that yes. agape love that's yes. what that's what we need in our mm -hmm. families exactly. and so this thanksgiving as we get together let that agape love reign in your heart you. let it yes. exactly don't let fear of what's to come right consume you but let the love of god yes consume. remember we're living under his grace and his mercies mm -hmm. okay so we're not consumed but we can be consumed by his love yes right let it your, empowers us to move yes, forward yes that's what's going to empower us and i wanted to read second corinthians 12 verse 9 that says but he said to me my grace and this is from the amplified version mm. My grace, my favor, loving kindness, and mercy is enough for you. Exactly. Sufficient against any danger and enables you to bear the trouble manfully. Exactly. For my strength and power are made perfect, fulfilled, and complete, and show themselves most effective in your weakness. Mm. Therefore, I will all the more gladly glory in my weaknesses and infirmities, that the strength and power of Christ, the Messiah, may rest yes may pitch a tent over and dwell on me oh, powerful God. scripture glory again that's second corinthians 12 and that was verse 9 from the amplified version just reminding us of the sufficiency of the grace the mercy of god his kindness to you is better than life mm, hallelujah glory mm. to god and so we can really now go to, go to the psalms yeah the psalms of praise yeah you know where we can lift up the name of jesus and i will bless the lord at, at all, all times. times his praises shall continually mm. be in my mouth because we know that we don't longer have to live in fear mm. We no longer have to live condemned. We no longer have to live as if we don't know what the end is. Right. right? We know that the end is eternal life. Yes. Right? We live knowing the power that is in us. Hallelujah.
and, and that is why we at the well emphasize women empowered for life exactly. and leadership because it's the empowered is not as we, we always talk about what would come from that word empowered is not about a feminist movement right, right? Exactly. it's about understanding your worth in Christ oh. it's understanding who you are in Christ that the power of God only comes through the anointing yes and so that word empowered is empowered is simply anointed anointed Hallelujah. to serve Hallelujah, hallelujah. Exactly. And um, Psalms 84 says, How lovely is your dwelling place, mm. O Lord of heaven's armies. Heaven's armies. Mm. If you are in Christ Jesus, you have an army with you. Yeah. So we do not, again, I'm going to emphasize, there is oh, no man. need to fear. Heather could have stayed there in her fearful state. Yeah. Fearing you know oh my daughter had down syndrome mm -hmm. you know and she could have yielded to that fear and she could have listened to the naysayers who did not believe in the power of christ yes. by aborting that child amen and look so, at the, the justice that mm -hmm. came out of justice <laughs> amazing uh, and and now justice the, the justice um <clears throat> if we were to be justified mm -hmm. um in the real sense of the justice we deserve yeah. we would have died yes, right exactly. but he justified us mm. by faith by yeah. by our faith we are justified mm -hmm. through Christ yes. right through mm -hmm. his blood we yeah. have this mercy mm -hmm. we have this mercy and so wow. we just want to lift up the name of Jesus we want to worship him here at the Lord well we want to give him praise and thanksgiving we want you to join in with us as we lift up the name of Jesus and as we glorify his Amen. name because the Lord he is great and greatly to, to be, be praised him. hallelujah yes. Maybe we need to pray for somebody right now yes. that feels like they've lost all hope. Yeah. And they need to know the Lord has paid it all for them. Exactly. Father, we thank Jesus. you right now for your grace and your mercy, for your truth that endureth to all generations. And we dwell in the truth of your word right now. Yes, God. That your grace and your mercy, your grace is sufficient for us. When we think we're weak, we are strong in Hallelujah. you. And yes. so right now, I put that woman, that man, everyone before you that is going through a tough situation and they are, feel like they're weak and they're helpless, let them realize the God they they serve yes, right God. now and that they have power to overcome the enemy and that once they look at the things in the world that are happening that they should look up to you from when they're where, they're, where they help come from and we thank you right now for these mercies and we lift up your name in Jesus name amen remember we overcome by the word of our testimony and so share your testimony yes don't be afraid to share it because God has done great things Take my lips and let them be filled with messages from thee, filled with messages from thee. Take my will and make it thine, it shall